Hi, welcome to Earth Juice, and it's all about sex this week. Coming up, disposable penises, monkey affairs, and fishy advice for singletons. First up, Japanese researchers have recently observed a sea slug with what they are calling a disposable penis. Chromodorus reticulate, a Pacific dwelling member of the sea slug family, are simultaneous hermaphrodites, meaning that they have both male and female genitalia. On finding a suitable partner, which I guess is kind of easier if you're both male and female, the sea slugs lay next to each other and form a sort of sex ring. They both insert their penises into each other's female openings and they both sow their seed while they're being impregnated at the same time. The researchers then noted that each sea slug would shed their penis, leaving it on the floor of the tank. However, by the next day a new penis had regrown and they were able to mate again. But the penis shenanigans don't stop there. On closer inspection, the team revealed that most of the sea slug's penis lay coiled up inside its body, and they could push it out to replace the one they just shed. Now, while several other animals are known to shed their penis after copulation, the researchers believe that these sea slugs are the only known creatures to regrow theirs. Secret phones and special email accounts are just some of the lengths that humans might go to to hide their illicit affairs. But we aren't the only species that likes to play the field. A new study shows that gelada baboons also have a penchant for a fling or two. Living high up in Ethiopia's Simeon Mountains National Park, the baboons are led by a dominant male who has reproductive dibs over all the females in his group. And being renowned for their noisy lovemaking, it should be easy for him to pick up on any infidelities and quickly put a stop to them. But a study by behavioural ecologist Eliza LaRue revealed that unfaithful baboons were adept at hiding their indiscretions in two ways. Firstly, by making sure they were at least 20 metres away from the dominant male and couldn't be seen. And secondly, by, well, keeping quiet. If their sexual encounter was spotted, the dominant male would charge or bite the guilty twosome. But it did little to quash their sexual appetites, and the guilty baboons soon returned to their wicked ways. LaRue added that while these kinds of deceptions are common in humans, this study shows that gelada baboons have learned that in order to get away with it, they have to take into account the current visual and acoustic perception of their leader, meaning that they are neither seen nor heard. Now, some people say that the best advice for singletons is to surround themselves with ugly people, hopefully making them more attractive in the process. And a new study revealed that amongst fish, guppies also take this approach to finding a mate. Setting up an aquarium with one female at either end, Clelia Gasparani from Italy's University of Padua placed brightly coloured males alongside female number one, whilst female number two had drab or uglier males alongside her. When another test male was then introduced to the middle of the tank and given the choice of which female to approach, female number two with her uglier entourage was consistently more popular. Gasparini added that while the results show that the ugly friend theory seems to work with fish, human dating tricks are far harder to measure. So, if you want to stand out from the crowd, at least to females, don't go standing next to Zac Efron. <sighs> I'm gonna leave. So that's this week's juice. If you want to see some more amazing animal sex stories, click here. If you want to see animals in slow motion, click here. And we'll see you next time. But the study by behavioural ecologist Eliza LaRue revealed that the baboo. But the study by behavioural ecologist Eliza LaRue revealed that the unfaithful baboo. It's just like completely involuntary. <laughs> Baboons. Have you ever struggled to say baboons? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you found like you found my weakness.